Hello again. Welcome to another edition of opening a sealed CED. Uh, before we get to the CED, you might notice some differences here. Uh, beginning to to put drywall up back here and uh, starting to get my retro room going. Um, and I've added a, a sound system, a stereo sound system. So when I watch movies, uh, it, it sounds much better. Uh, let's not forget, CEDs are just vinyl records so if you like the sound of vinyl records you will love the sound of a CED coming through a really nice stereo setup so what movie do we have today to pop in the 1981 classic zapped starring Scott Bayo Willie Ames and Heather Thomas um, you know, this is an all-star cast here we had uh, you know uh, Scott Bayo was at the peak of his popularity, um, coming from Happy Days and Joni Loves Chachi, and Will, uh, Willie Ames uh, was on the hit TV show Eight is Enough. Um, Heather Thomas, of course, everybody remembers from The Fall Guy. And we also have Scatman Crothers. Um, and you know, the interesting thing about this is Zap pretty much more or less is just a spoof on the uh, movie Carrie, the Stephen King movie Carrie, starring Sissy Spacek and John Travolta. And it's interesting that a year before this was made, this movie came out, Scatman Crothers was in Stephen King's The Shining. Uh, so, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's really interesting that... Uh, yeah, I know I said 81, it's 82, I was close. But, uh, yeah, a year or two before this came out, The Shiny came out. So, inadvertently, Scatman Crothers there is uh, kind of linked to two Stephen King movies. And, um, I should say type movies, I guess. <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen Zapped, it's a lot of fun. You know, Scott Baio here, he gets telekinesis so he can move things with his mind. And his best friend, Willie Ames, wants to take advantage of that to win money and um, win baseball games and all kinds of stuff. Um, inevitably, Scott doesn't want to keep that. He's, he falls in love with the lovely Bernadette. And uh, he just wants this whole thing to kind of stop. Um, one of the best things about this movie, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's just a, a teenage romp typical of the 80s but this has an amazing soundtrack uh it, it really does have some of the best music in it that the 80s had to offer too bad that the ced is in mono and not stereo because uh it, it really would have showcased the uh the really really fantastic soundtrack um so as we can see up here Originally, this was being sold for twenty nine ninety eight, so had a you know thirty dollar price tag on it. Pretty hefty, you know, for something that was released in the early eighties. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all the information I have about Zap for right now. So let's just go ahead and see if we can find a seam here, and we'll open this thing up. Got the cellophane here, crumpling it all up. So as you can see, the, the cover's in really good condition. A little bit of pitting on it, but not too bad. So let's go ahead and let's pop this in. I, I'm back to using my RCA 250. Um, I still love the Hitachi. I just couldn't find a whoops didn't take it the uh, the remote control wire just kept getting in the way I'm gonna try to think of maybe a better thing I, I really think the uh, the Hitachi has better quality actually overall um, but this is a, a really nice player and I've had it for quite a while There we 
go. It's looking good. It's sounding good. Turn this down a little bit. So uh, an interesting fact I wanted to bring up about this movie is I did see it theatrically when it first came out, opening weekend. Um, we were supposed to go see the Friday the 13th Part 3 in 3D. Um, at the last minute, my brother, who's actually three years older than me, uh, kind of chickened out. He, he said he didn't want to go see it. Um, and my uncle, who was taking us, said, well, we got to all agree on a movie or we're not going to the movies tonight. And so we agreed on Zapped. And, and you know, it's, it's been a favorite of mine ever since. I mean, experience it opening weekend in a theater. Um, multiple times I've seen it on HBO, VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, um, you name it, I've seen it. So to, to have it on CED now is really kind of cool. Let's fast forward a few minutes in here. Oh yeah, that, whoop. Up yours. this is a, a, a famous scene from the movie Carrie that they recreated here, but in, she makes the kid on the bike fall over. Up yours. Right there, she turned around and drrr, makes him fall over and here he just kind of tells him up yours and that's it. Anyway, that's about it. I mean, as you can see, the movie's playing great. The quality is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and pop it out there. Um, again, if you've got any suggestions, comments, go ahead and put them in the uh, comment section below. Um, on my previous video, I went through a, a long list of movies I have on CED uh, that are still sealed. If there are any of those you want to see uh, next, put it in the comments, and I'll be happy to... to um, showcase you know whichever one you guys want to see next so thank you for watching my videos i hope you enjoyed it and have a great day